to get out of bed. Good morning. Oh, it's bright. And yeah, I'm just going to be taking you guys through my day with me. This is going to be kind of similar to the last video I posted, except it's not my birthday anymore. It's currently 9 o'clock and... I have something for my class at 9.25 that I don't have to go to, but I feel like I should. And then after that, I have finance at 10.50. I have to go on Zoom. Should I go back to sleep until 10? I'm gonna go back to sleep for a little bit. Good night. Okay, so it's about 10 o'clock now. Let's see, let's see what I have to do today. So I have to go on Zoom at 10.50 for my finance class, and then I'm probably gonna do some stuff for that class afterwards, because that's really like my only homework for the week now. Then I'm going back home today, so that's cool. I want to, like, do something while I'm here. I don't know. Let's get up. Wow. Wow. It's very bright out today. I love that. So, I, I try to start out my morning spending some type of time with God. For those who don't know, I'm a Christian, um, a new Christian. I just got baptized in January at Seven Hills Church in Florence, Kentucky. Love them, love everybody there. But when I got baptized, I got this book. It's called Seven Basics strong roots for every christian and right now i'm on basic number three to be quite honest i'm not very good about doing this every day i've like missed a couple days but you know you just gotta jump right back into it what i do with this is i just like read everything through here and like i'll underline like some of the scripture they mention and like certain points that i really like and then they give you they give you like scriptures you they suggest to read at the bottom and then there's like a they call it a study guide so just like answering questions about like the basic you just read so like it'll ask you questions about basic number three and then with these scriptures at the bottom i'll go in my bible right here as you can see I have a lot of notes in it i'll go in here and i'll kind of just read through these and take a post-it note summarize it and write down like what the scripture was it was what the scripture was i can't speak and then i will answer these questions let's just get on get on with it Okay, so I guess I laid in bed too long and I wasn't able to finish um, the third basic before class um, and class started a minute ago. So um, I just have to go on Zoom again in my class to finance, so I'll come back after this class is over. Okay, so I'm done with my classes for the day. These are my notes I took. This and this and this. This isn't focused. We're doing, I literally, it's like something with stocks and risks and whatever. I don't know. But it's very simple. Like right now what we're doing is basically like simple algebra orders of operations. So now I'm just going to finish this and then go into my Bible. Okay, I'm done with like all my morning stuff. It's already like one o'clock though. So, mm, let's see. Oh, I'm gonna change into something not what I slept in. Let's get change.
this is me now. I didn't change much. I literally just put my powder puff shirt on. So now what I think I'm gonna do is, so this is my room currently. It's not like super messy, but it definitely needs some cleaning. You know, we're just going to clean up my room. Am I 20 years old? Yeah. Do I have stuffed animals still? Yeah. Do some of my pillows and my blankets not really match my room theme? Yeah. But does that concern anybody besides me? No. And it doesn't even concern me because my room is comfy and cozy to me. Okay, so now my room is so clean. Look at that. I gotta take this stuff into the bathroom because I was too lazy to take it back in there last night when I took a shower. But yeah, here is my room. This stuff is just gonna stay here because I'm going home today anyway. So this is all clean. This is all clean. My bed's made. Such a great day. But now I did laundry last night and I just kind of forgot to fold it after it was dried. So we're gonna go fold the laundry now. Honestly though, I love when like I get a bunch of laundry done because it just makes me feel productive and I'm like, yes, finally, I have some more clean clothes. This is a great day. I was just thinking if anybody wants me to do like an updated apartment tour, I would totally do that because we clearly have like a lot more stuff going on in here. So if anybody wants to see that, just let me know, leave a like, comment, you know, whatever you want to do. But um, my camera's about to die, so I'm gonna go charge my camera and then I'll be back. Okay, so my friend Nick, he goes to my church. Hi Nick, you're probably watching this. He sent me a list from, it's from USA Today. It says 100 things to do while stuck inside due to a pandemic. So we're gonna do a few of these things today. One of them is write poetry. So that's what we're gonna do. I finished my poem. It is a haiku titled, It's Corona Time. Stuck in quarantine. It's making me go insane. All I do is clean. Stuck in quarantine. I miss seeing my sisters. I've just been eating. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's look through this list a little bit more. Oh, it says like an at-home workout basically, so <sighs> we're gonna do that now. The at-home workout I'm doing is this one. It is by Mad Fit. She literally just put it up like 10 minutes ago, I think, sometime today. And it's a full body hit no jumping 12 minute apartment friendly fat burn. So that's what we're gonna do. I don't really feel like changing just because I'm lazy and I don't wanna have to wash more clothes. So let's get on with the workout. Oh gosh, she's fast. What? Well, that was a really good workout. Wow, I look horrific. Okay, literally, like, what are these? Like, I like literally, I don't even like know what to do with these things. I 
I think this is it kind of for like a day in my life, but quarantine edition. But um, stay safe, stay healthy, keep washing those hands, don't touch your face, even though I've probably done it like 20 times in this video. Like, subscribe, comment, share, turn on the post notifications. If you made it this far, thank you. I appreciate you and I love you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.